So how does Google's Bard stack up against ChatGTP for coding tools? Well, I put myself through the pain of yet another AI test, so you don't have to. Here is the Bard interface. So let's start with something basic, and that's asking it to create me a menu item to select all objects in my scene. Now, I would expect back, obviously, a function with the attribute menu item. That's not exactly what I got back, but before I continue, I want to point out something that I quite like the addition of in Bard, and that's the Google it button. You see, with the current state of these AI services, oftentimes it's well worth qualifying the answer it provides by doing a search if you're unsure on the result. So adding this button makes that search a lot easier to perform, and it's something ChatGDP doesn't currently have. Now, I'm going to hit the regenerate on this answer because it's not right, and uh, we'll see if we'll get a better result. Okay, after a few of those, this one is closer, but you'll still have to ignore the editor window part and the function name and the fact you don't need link at the end. But I'm going to try changing the prompt a bit and see if refining it will make a difference. Okay, maybe we need to be a little bit more specific. So I think this answer will do for now. And I want to jump over to ChatGTP. And as we can see, after one regeneration, I think we can keep this result. The next test I wanted to show was continuing the conversation from the last best answers from both of these services. And I'm going to do that by asking it to refine my search by a particular layer. So let's take a look at this answer from Bard. Well, we can get rid of the mono behavior. It's clearly using the link library without adding the link library. The function name is the same as the class, which will error and won't work. The layer.character is undefined, which is easy enough to fix with you know, the layer mask class and name to layer function. To end all of that, the link cannot go straight to the selection array, so this function really doesn't work. And as a bonus, I don't like the fact that the menu name has been kept as selecting all objects, when it's not selecting all objects, it's doing a selection of a particular set of objects with a layer. Now for the answer from ChatGTP. Well, this isn't without fault either, as find objects of type is actually a static method of the class game object, which hasn't actually been added here, but that's very easy to fix. Now, with that minor change, this function does work and even provided the name to layer and inserted the character keyword for me to use. So, on to the last test. But before I do, hold on, don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying the video and let me know how you're finding the improvements in these AI tools and if they're now within your workflow. On the other hand, are you over the whole thing and want those two little letters to leave you alone until they level up? And on that point, I might be slating Bard here, but remember, it's the newborn and should only get better with age like ChatGDP. So on to the last test. And I wanted to try going slightly more complex in my prompt with asking a more niche request about decorator drawers that I did from my first video. As you can see, the results again show Bard falling over, unfortunately. If I copy and paste this code, we see that we need to add in where the classes come from. Some of the classes are actually from the system drawing library. The color doesn't contain black with a capital B in the Unity color class, and not to mention even the function name is wrong as well. ChatTTP gave me a much better result. However, there is a gotcha that a novice developer might miss. You'll need to drag the code from the decorator drawer into the scripts folder and out of the editor, as the attribute is within the decorator drawer class file, and as libraries get made in Unity, the actual attribute that I add into the my script class won't see the decorator drawer attribute. This will then make the code work. However, if you go to build with this code, it will fall over as now you have an editor code in your runtime. You even need to define out the editor code or better yet, extract the attribute into its own class and drop that into the scripts folder. So as you can see, the results are still not perfect. And in my testing and my opinion, I would say that ChatGTP easily is ahead of Bard in the current state of affairs, with its answers that it provides and also the clarity around those answers and the instructions it gives you. One point in Bard's favor though is the easy search button, which I doubt ChatGTP is about to add to their results. 
However, I think searching your results is valid with the current state and really needs to be done to qualify what you get back from these tools. So I like that I have the option in Bard rather than currently what I have to do with ChatGTP, which is reselect the prompt and then hit search. Now, I didn't want to finish this video without showing something else that I use these AIs for, which is getting hints on what to cook for dinner for my wife. Now, ChatGTP is pretty good as you can see, but really Bard, your answer is cook her favorite meal? Certainly well inside the box thinking there.